the fact is most people think that what a bank does is lend you money that someone else has put in the bank previously. Um, but what a bank actually does, what a commercial bank does, uh, is to create money from nothing and then lend it to you at interest. If I do that, if I manufacture money in my own home, it's called counterfeiting. Uh, if an accountant creates money out of nothing in the company accounts, it's called cooking the books. But if a bank does it, it's perfectly legal. Uh, and so long as you allow fraud to be legalized, uh, then all kinds of problems are going to pop up in the economic system, which you can't do anything about. Private banks create money out of nothing and lend it at interest. Now, that sounds absurd. Uh, when I teach sophomores, you know, about money and banking and how banks, they never believe it. And so you have to go through it again and again. Yes, banks really do create money. They really do. Here's how it happens. And it's absurd. And they're right to, to uh, doubt that that could possibly be what's really going on. But it is. Now, if the banking lobby is very strong, they're going to say, well, we don't want to change the system. We're making so much money out of it. What we have to do is, A, try and convince the people that it's their fault, um, that their wage claims are too high, and that's why we're having lots of inflation, or people are speculating on housing, and that's why house prices are going up. What they're not going to say is that this is happening because banks are creating money out of nothing and pumping it into the system, and that's why prices are going up.